world news from DGI TV, Baba Dagede Imo TV. I am Morire Rebila Lawal. First are the major headlines for the world news. Northern APC governor's presence of Shibato. Tinubu three orders to Buhari. 2023 APC presidential primary day two updates results from Eagle Square, Abuja. Judiciary reporters detained, forced to delete pictures. There is danger APC NWC members wants to move other southerners. Still on APC primary, three states accredited, journalists back. I know a name that can change Nigeria for good, Pastor Adeboye. And to foreign story. Nigerian lady denied Canadian residency to be deported for having baby and finally sports. I will make Osime fear some spalletti. Now the news in detail. As a follow-up on the resolution to zone the All Progressive Congress presidential ticket to the South, the Northern APC governors have forwarded the names of five Southern aspirants to the President, Major General Muhammad Buhari retired, for consideration as a consensus candidate. Aspirants from the South dominated the list obtained by the porch on Tuesday. Those shortlisted are the Vice President Yemi Oshibajo, former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinubu, AKT State Governor Kayo De Fayemi, former Transportation Minister Rotimi Abechi, and Governor De Umai of Eboi States. The Chairman of the Northern Governors Forum and Governor of Plato States. Simon Lanon, who confirmed the shortlist, said those whose names were submitted had been graded by the party screening committee based on specified methods. Seven presidential aspirants contesting under the platform of the All Progressive Congress APC have rejected the five names that was purportedly submitted to President Muhammad Buhari to select a consensus candidate. They insisted nobody consulted them before the governors arrived at the decision. The aggrieved aspirant made his claim in a statement issued in the early hours of Tuesday. The aspirants include Governor of Quaris, Abeki Palin, Governor of Cross River State, Ben Ayade, Ex-Minister for State for Education, Emeka Umwajuba, Ex-Minister for Science and Technology, Obonaya On, former Governor Rote Zokorocha and businessman, Ten Jack Witch, According to them, Buhari did not equivocally, I beg your pardon. According to them, Buhari did not equivocally support zoning the presidency to the south and questioned the motive of the governors. Governor Hope was a member of Pimo State until they entered at the All Progressive Congress (APC), producing a consensus candidate during the party's presidential primary in Abuja. Uzaduma was the chairman of the APC Special Convention, said the party may produce a consensus presidential candidate at the end of the day. The governor said the party would conduct a free and fair election if consensus fails. Six judiciary correspondents were on Tuesday detained for over two hours on the order of Justice Chuzo Baoji of the High Court of Federal Capital Territory, FCT, sitting in Maitama. Justice Oji insisted that journalists must get permission before they could cover our court. Consequently, she ordered a police orderly to seize a phone belonging to Miss Wumi or Barbary of the Africa Independent Television AIT and delete all the pictures and videos in it. Other reporters, the judge subsequently walked out of the courtroom where Mr. Godwin Tsa of the Sun newspaper, Ikechuku Inochiri of Vanguard newspaper, Austin Okezi of Great Power FM, and a veteran journalist, Mr. Charles Ozue Mana. Trouble started shortly after the judge stood down a matter and entered a chambers to prepare a ruling. Still on the APC presidential ticket, the national youth leader of the All Progressive Congress, Dayo Israel, has won presidential aspirants and political leaders from the South against disunity. According to him, there is a danger for the Southern aspirants as the party holds its presidential primary today. Israel urged the aspirant to liberate the position of the northern government to shift power to the south. Among the southerners, 
contesting a national leader of APC, Bola Tinumbu, Vice President Yemi Oshubadro, and the state government, Kayode Faimi. He said the Southern aspirants better get their act together and leverage on the commitment of the Northern governors proposing to zone presidency to the South. A word is enough for the wise. The punch had reported that APC governors from the northern part of the country had backed the transfer of power to the south. Still on the bad journalists from coverage, the accreditation for delegates participating in the ruling all progressive Congress presidential election is ongoing. The accreditation is being held at the International Conference Center in Abuja. Journalists were not allowed into the venue of the accreditation. However, a member of the committee and the chieftain of the party in Delta, Barry Eka, told correspondent that delegates from three states had so far completed their accreditation. He said three states have completed the accreditation for delegates. The states are Ogun, Benue, and Lagos. Eka said the accredited delegates were to proceed to the Eagle Square, the venue of the party's special convention. About 2,340 delegates across the Tassos State of the Federation, including the Federal Capital Territory, are expected to decide the fate of the party's presidential aspirant should the party fail to agree on a consensus. Before the foreign news, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG, Pastor Enoch Adeboye, says he knows a name that could change Nigeria for good. He said this on his Facebook page, attaching an image of himself with the text, Jesus. I know a name that can change the current state of Nigeria for good, he posted. He said these hours after reacting to the killings of Christian worshippers at St. Francis Catholic Church, or in Ondo State. The Punch had reported that gunmen attacked the church, killing about 40 worshippers during Sunday service. Adeboye, in a post on his Facebook page on Tuesday, expressed sadness over the attack, saying every soul counts before God. And to foreign story. A Nigerian, Idayat Saka, who works in Toronto as a health care worker, did exactly what her doctor told her to do to protect herself and her baby. The 33-year-old mother of four stopped working at the beginning of her third trimester of pregnancy due to high risk complications from pale cesarean death. What Saka couldn't have known at the time was that her decision to stop working when she did would later be used by an immigration officer to deny her permanent residency in Canada. This rejection means Saka, her husband and two of their children could soon be deported to Nigeria. Her younger sons, ages three and one, can't be deported because they are Canadian. They came to Canada in October 2017 after they said their lives were threatened by gunmen in Nigeria. These claims were later dismissed. After they arrived in Canada, Saka went back to school to become a personal support worker and spent more than 2,000 hours caring for sick and elderly patients in Ontario during the COVID-19 pandemic. Most of this work occurred during the deadly third and fourth waves of the virus. And finally, sport news. Napoli manager Luciano Spalletti is confident of molding Victor Osime into one of the world's most feared strikers next season, the Pont reports. Spalletti, who guided the Petnopi to a third place finish in the Serie A last season, also hopes no innocent bid is made for the 23 year old during the transfer window. Osime finished as Napoli's top striker last season with 18 goals and has been linked with the move away from Naples with Arsenal, Real Madrid, Newcastle, Liverpool, Bayern Munich and Manchester United all reportedly interested in the Super Eagles striker. The Patinopi are holding out for 110 Euro million euros for the Nigerian striker who has three years left on his current deal according to reports on Correro Dello Sports. That was the world news from BGI TV, but before we go, a quick recap of some major headlines. Northern APC governors present or Shibajo, Tinumbu, three orders to Buhari. 2023 APC presidential primary day two. Update, result from Eagle Square, Abuja. 
And from that story, we go straight to the foreign story. Nigerian lady denied Canadian residency to be deported for having baby. And finally, sports. I will make Osime fearsome Spalletti. For more updates on YouTube, the Under the East Baba by Gede Imo TV, kindly subscribe and click on the notification bell, select option all to access our updates on Facebook by Gede Imo with Alawiye Adebayo. Please like and follow the page on Instagram by Gede Imo underscore 22. And for other placements of the goods and services, coverage of events and function, the phone number streaming on your screen is a direct line to call for Adnan. Thank you for watching. I am Mori Ray Regila Lawa. Good evening. Oh, na -na -na. If you want to know what's going on in city, or you want to listen to the latest news and gist, no stress, oh, just listen to BGI TV. BGI time.